Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan and I wanna show you how I got this super beautiful mermaid look today. So keep watching. If you're new here, I love all things makeup, fitness, and mental health. So let's get into it. All right guys, let's get into it. I've got my hair pinned back and my beauty blender wet. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with moisturizer. This is a hyaluronic and vitamin C moisturizer. My skin has been healing and doing pretty good. And so yeah, we love having nice skin. So it's been nice. I haven't really been fighting with it lately and all is well. So today I really wanted to play with blues. On my TikTok, someone had asked if I could do a blue makeup look. And you guys know that my Jordi Cosmetics palette is about the ocean and it's got blue in it, the most beautiful blues. Um, so we are gonna go in with that today and try to come out with this really pretty blue mermaid look. First things first, I'm actually gonna go in with the eye colors before I go in with foundation just because I want to be able to hide any imperfections um, just based on the fact that this is gonna be a blue, bright blue wing. So I'm gonna go in and use some tape. If it would come off. I broke my nail. I don't know if you can see where it's broken, but it hurts. So I kind of wanted today just to talk about you know, what I do at the gym, how I manifest, what I journal about, and kind of how I do self-care. So when I put tape on my eyes, I like to run it under uh, the bottom waterline underneath the lashes. You do not want to stick lashes and tape together. This morning, I went for an hour and a half long workout and then I went to a 50 minute spin class because I am learning how to teach spin class and let me tell you, I was exhausted. Being in my gym from 6.30 this morning till 10 a.m. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a base color just to help everything blend and make it more smooth. I just want it to look like the eye has been totally taken care of, if that makes any sense. So I have this Smashbox palette and I'm gonna go in with this really light beige taupe color. Um, it would just be a slight darker tone than my skin tone. We are just putting this in here so that the crease is a crease. Am I not explaining things well today? I don't feel like I am doing a very good job at explaining things. <laughs> Um, but essentially, I just like having a transition shade, something that splits the eyelid from the eyebrow and the rest of the face. So now that we have that done, I'm gonna go in with my Jordi palette and I'm gonna use the color Loved. It is this light shade up here. It is off-white like a cream and this I think is just really beautiful for just underneath the eyebrow again blending that color that we just put on up a little bit so it's very natural and it essentially just takes like any discolorations any veins anything and kind of blurs it out so I'm just blurring the eye um, to make it a smooth, even canvas. This nail is so broken and it hurts so much. All right, so that is our base. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and create a really pretty bright blue wing. This wing is actually gonna go underneath our eye as well, but for simplicity's sake, that is why we have the tape. I'm gonna go in with this tiny tipped brush it's the one that i usually use with this blue color underneath my eyes but this way we'll get like a more precise line going in with the color passionate in my Jordi palette we'll just go dip this in here like that and then run it along the edge
That is that one eye. And then when we peel it, it'll be a perfect wing. We'll do it on the other side. Those look about even. This is so blue. Oh my God, I love it. This is the color passionate because I am passionate and so are you. As you guys know, I'm a firm believer in affirmations and self-affirmating and training our brains to say kind things to us um, that wouldn't normally be in our vocabulary. Even if you pick a mantra during the day, every single day can be different. If you say, I am healthy, I am beautiful, and I am loved. And then throughout your day, you repeat those things to yourself all day long. And then you do it for more than one day. You do it up to a week, you journal about it. Eventually you'll be training yourself to say nice things to yourself because we absolutely deserve to feel like we love ourselves because we should. Does that make sense? This palette came about because I was super inspired by the ocean and I moved my life out to the ocean because I knew that's what I needed and here we are. Also, I do have a top on in case anybody is wondering or concerned. Um, I got a top on, so there's that. As I peel this, it should be a perfect wing. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. The process of doing makeup is what makes it Fun. So this look, I wanted to also maybe do a small tight black liner within it. I'm gonna move on to foundation and come back to the eye. So this is kind of the pre-eye look, okay? A little protein break. This is not my favorite flavor. Core Power, if you see this, please send me the chocolate ones because on the island, the chocolate ones are always sold out everywhere. The chocolate ones are my favorite. So. Some of you may hate me for doing this, um, but I am gonna go in with Rimmel London Stay Matte Mousse Foundation, and I'm going to use it as a pre-concealer. And honestly, I don't feel like regular concealer uh, does anything. So, or I just haven't found one that I like, and I'm a drugstore girly. We are doing affordable things here. Always wanna make sure that the things I'm doing are attainable to anybody that wants to have fun with makeup. And I know Mousse Foundation is, it's been like banned by the beauty community and shunned, but it works great as a concealer underneath your makeup. So I just go in and cover any of the large blemishes that I know I'm gonna have struggles with hiding. Kind of just go through here and get all the really red spots. This one in particular is giving me a hard time. Gone, boom. Once we get foundation on, you should not be able to see that. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in shade 112. We're gonna go right up to that liner. I have hazel eyes and I do find that wearing blue makes them look super green. I think it's beautiful. I think a lot of people are afraid to use a blue eyeshadow, but honestly, I quite love it. It's what I use as under eye when I do regular makeup looks, which is like a black liner. I think with hazel eyes, you can't go wrong with shades like brown or purple, but blue is also a hot contender and one to consider and not be too shy to try. Don't be too shy to try new things. Don't be shy to try new things. So I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline 30 Hour Wear Concealer, and we're just gonna go under the eyes and then up the wing. Between the forehead, eyebrows, down the nose, and right here. We're gonna blend that out. Now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Stick. This is in the shade Suede-ish, which is 10. Rihanna killed this. I used this because it was expensive. <laughs> do I prefer powder contour still? Yes, so that's the truth. I do, however, not waste money 
or time or effort and you gotta try it. So, well not you, but I did. Okay. I just find that the cream contour is hard to blend. It looks great though in photo shoots, it really does. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Whatever. You guys, I found my wedding dress. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> um, I freaking cried. My mom cried. It was a really, really special moment. I had to blend my contour off camera just because I am running out of space on my phone as per usual. But I am going in with Stay Matte Loose Foundation Powder and I'm just gonna blend everything out. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna go in with some soap brows, which is just taking a setting spray and a bar of soap, preferably a clear bar of soap, and then spiking my eyebrows up to stay where I want them. What are your go-to makeup products that you absolutely cannot go without? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know. I would love to try some new things, or if you guys have another way of doing something that you see me do, let me know so I can try it. Life's about trying new things. But I have really fluffy eyebrows and this is what works for me. So I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with this NARS brow powder in the shade Laguna. Uh, before my phone notified me that I am running out of space, I was telling you guys that I found my wedding dress, which is so exciting. It was so emotional and just truly like, a once in a lifetime thing to really do that with my mom and experience that with her. We both cried and bonded. I actually got to stay with my mom for three nights while she was on the island visiting and it made my heart so happy. Now that my complexion is done, I'm gonna go back in with that first tiny little brush go back in with the color Passionate on my Jordi palette and run it underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go right into the corner of my eye. And then do the same on the other side. So I was gonna go in with a black liquid eyeliner, but I really love what's going on. So I'm just gonna take a liner pencil and do my waterline on both the top and bottom to still bring that dark black in without messing with this beautiful blue that we have going on. That must be like the weirdest thing to watch me do. in with this teeny tiny little brush similar to the one that we used for the blue and go into the color capable on my Jordi palette and this is just if you have runny eyes like I do you're gonna take a loose black powder and run it over top of your waterline where you put your crayon liner and it's gonna make it matte it's almost gonna make it waterproof and it will not move it's not gonna go into your eyes Life is gravy. And the top. Essentially when I do the top, I am just pushing product into the waterline and up the lashes. And this will just keep it black for longer because if you have done a waterline look before, you know that it does not last very long. It's 
So again, that black tight line is capable because I am capable and so are you. I'm gonna do lashes and mascara off camera one moment. All right, lashes are on. This is the eye look. I'm now gonna go in with my Jordi palette and put a highlighter on my cheeks. You guys know this is my favorite part. So I'm gonna go in with the color Abundant because I'm abundant and so are you. And we're gonna put that right there. Boom! Like the little fairy mermaid goddess that I think I am today. And we're just gonna rock that. I like to put some here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and some on my nose. And then let's pick a lip shade. So I went ahead and lined my lips with Sephora in the color Nano. And then this is actually Jeffree Star in the shade Mannequin. And as you can see, I need to let this go. She is done and pretty much empty. Getting this on my lips is a struggle, but I love this shade and I can't bring myself to throw the bottle out, so. So this is the look. I love it, I'm super proud of it. I'm really excited to go wear this. I'm gonna take you guys outside just so you can get a full feel for what it looks like. I'm gonna walk you guys into the sunlight and then I can't see, it is literally blinding. But this shade of blue is called Passionate by Jordi and it's inspired by the ocean. And I really love it. So I feel like a mermaid and I hope you do too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me. Let me know in the comments if you loved it. And if you want to see me do more makeup looks, I love you guys. Bye.